Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Tonight, I'm back out here on the dock, and I want to see if I can catch some of these speckled trout that are finally starting to come in here. Well, setup tonight does not get any easier. I just have a size 8 treble hook on. Usually, I'll use a size 10, uh, some 12 or 14 pound fluorocarbon, which is going to allow the shrimp to sink a little bit instead of adding a little BB weight. And that's two 15 pound braid, which will flow on the surface. So this ought to be foot and a half, two feet under the surface, which is right in that strike zone for them. In order to hook these shrimp, you just want to grab them real quick. Oop. Well, that one's gone. All right, let's try this again. So here's the shrimp. All we want to do is we want to hook it in this front horn right here. Generally, these predator fish, they like to hit the head or something, break the net, and then come back and eat the uh, bait they didn't get the first time. Trash fish, you'll see all these legs gone on the bottom if it's trash fish feeding on these, but just go ahead, get it into that horn. And again, you don't want to hit that black spot. That black spot is actually their brain. So if you hit that, you're just going to kill your shrimp. Once you do that, all you, all you got to do is take it, pitch them out, and hopefully we get something. Finally have one on, yep. There's a fish. Doesn't feel very big though. It is not. That is a very, very small trout. I need something a little bit bigger than him if I want to keep him tonight. I think we have something else on. Yep. That one feels much better than the last one. Still not huge, but a little bit bigger. This guy will use the net for just to be safe. Boom. Second trout of the night. Definitely going after these shrimp. I tried minnows last night. I didn't have a whole lot of luck. So went ahead, went to the bait shop, got some shrimp because I don't have any DOAs. And when I went to the store, nobody has any artificial baits right now whatsoever. So just went and got some live shrimp and they seem to be enjoying them. Check that out. I think we got another one on here. Yep. Seems like another small trout, yep. Another fairly small trout. Definitely release him. Usually the trout are much, much bigger. I don't know why they're this size. Um, it's kind of surprising, honestly. It's kind of surprising. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Perfect. All right. See you, little guy. Ooh. That was aggressive. That's a decent one. Uh, a little bit smaller than I thought. Yeah, a little bit smaller. We'll probably go ahead and throw him back as well. There's some good ones. I can see them. Just haven't had any bite yet. We need to get a little bit bigger here, though. Got to figure out how to do that. There's another bite, and yet another trout. This one's pretty feisty. Go ahead and grab the net here. Come on. There we go. I think that's the fourth or fifth trout of the night, and that one's actually gonna be a legal size when it looks like pretty decent shoulders on them, decent length. Looking a little bit skinny, but you know what? Definitely be really good to eat one night. Ooh, there we go. That's what, that's what type of bite I've been looking for tonight. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. <laughs> that's the best one of the night so far. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Millie, say hi to everybody. Hello. Good girl. 
There's another fish on. Yep. That one doesn't feel bad either. I could run straight at the dock, and it is not. Oh, and there's another. Millie, what do you think? We got a fish. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> you don't like fish? There's another one. It's flow in the water column. Oh, that's a good one too. This one's not getting away like the last one. Ooh, no, 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 no. You stay in the net. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful sized trout that is perfect eating size. Definitely give you two nice large size fillets. That'd be perfect meal for me, especially when I'm at school or while I'm home this summer. Throw them in a bag, throw them into a pan, cook them up, and that'd be perfect. Well, it's about 3 a.m. now, so I'm gonna go ahead, probably wrap it up for tonight, and I'm going to try and fish tomorrow night as well. I'll have to see what this tropical storm does that's coming into the Gulf. It's currently headed towards Louisiana, but we're expecting a lot of rainfall here. But with that being said, my best nights of trout fishing I've found are to be a few days before storms and usually a day or two after. It's just prime time because the currents are ripping, they're hungry, they gotta keep that energy level up so they eat a lot and they don't care what they eat. Well, as you can see, Tropical Storm Cristobal is here, so that's basically cut out all fishing plans. It's not too bad of weather. We're getting the brunt side of it here in Alabama, but still, it's just a lot of rain, a lot of wind. It's definitely going to push that tide way up. The fish are, just aren't going to be there. So that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to share, like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.